62 Buick station wagon that uh, Cindy found while she was jogging in Rockville and thought it was pretty cool and wanted me to uh, buy it for Jake and I and we did and it needed a lot of work to make it a regular car so eventually like everything else becomes a drag car. <laughs> Cut up a four, uh, Dana 60 and shortened that put some 513s in it. The whole frame in the car is built inside the car so I could put the car real low. It's got a old style turbo 400, Spragler turbo 400 in it with a, with a 582 motor. 582 kind of Chevy motor, got a 1970 Elderbrock tunnel ramp with two Holly 850s that I reworked and put them on there sideways. It's got a set of Brodex heads on it. It runs real good, it's all steel. It's run high fives, letting off the gas two or three times, pedaling it because it starts spinning in high gear. I kind of built it to run in the nitrous class at 75, 80. It's actually got the original color on it that when I bought it, I spray canned a lot of spots. Spray canned and cleared with some dupli color from the auto parts store. This thing has uh, the back door opens like this, and it's called a, a five door. I met a Buick guy at the track, he's a Buick nut. He said it's very rare, and he's really into Buicks. Had them all his life, and he said he's never seen a five door like this. I got these old school uh, blossom stacks from my friend Dana that he used to have on his car, and I got some Walmart spoon strainers made screens out of stainless steel. They worked out really good. I just cut them, cut the uh, cut the plastic around until they fit right in the stack. So the wheelie bars in the back. I went to the track, pulled a pulled a couple wheelies, smashed the headers. I didn't have the material to do a, uh, another wheelie bar, so I went to my buddy's house, Jeff, up the road. He's a bricklayer. Got a piece of his scaffolding, cut up the bars. So I put all that crap together and made some nice old school wheelie bars. It's a crowd pleaser at the track, though. People look at it and they immediately start laughing. They want to do a big old burnout and haul ass down the track, pull the wheelie, they start laughing. So I guess that's what it's all about. This is a 68 Nova, and this is going to be uh, par for Mac when he graduates uh, college. The body is all together now. There's a couple little things, details that we got to go through. But I got a lot of parts from my friends, like a buddy had some of these old SS louver, uh, louvers for the hood, and we fixed them up and put them on there. We got the 350 Chevy motor in it that actually Jake built when he got out of high school, like 17, and I was teaching him how to build a motor. And for all the wheeling and dealing, we ended up getting that back, so it was pretty cool because we got the Nova with the motor that Jake built in the very beginning years ago. We made a custom dash for it, put a piece of metal in there, drilled out and put our, our gauges in the dash. We're going to have like a tack style speedometer. It's going to look, it's going to look cool. Due to all the, you know, the scabbing on the bottom, we put frame connectors in it made out of 2 by 3 by 8 inch ball. We really made it nice, so this car is basically, we welded it to the front frame. The rear and the back, we have traction bars. We bought old school traction bars from Carlisle. I got them for 30 bucks. That should be a right nice car to drive. Mac, what do you think of this? It's cool to have an old car. Uh, a lot of work to put into it. It's definitely more of a close up connection. Definitely be keeping this bar for a very long time. Uh, it's definitely a, more of a personal connection than uh, pretty much any other car. Oh, well, this Barracuda I found in the neighborhood, and I always wanted to build a funny car ever since I was a kid. So uh, I'm not going to really get to the real funny car, so I did the next best thing, which is to make like a street funny car. In other words, it's got doors. I got all the hard stuff done. I've got the engine mounts, most of the frame and everything done. It's going to have a blower motor. I don't know what exactly yet, but a blower motor and, uh, you know, your typical. I'm making it into a nostalgia car. It's going to be the old spoiler, you know, 1970 type of car or late 60s. I got the body. If you notice the stripe on the top. To get the funny car look, I actually cut it 10 inches right out of the middle of the car all the way down. So that's what makes the car look so skinny. Of course, it looks pretty scabby now, but we uh, ended up making a mold and uh, putting 10 more inches on these fenders. So when, as you can tell, looking at it, long, skinny, just like a funny car would look. It's going to be certified. You know, it'll be just a seven cent car. I don't want to go any faster than that. Everything is made from scratch. It'll be pretty cool when it's done. I'll get the right wheels and 
finish up on it a little bit, maybe next summer. It'll be thumping, blowing some smoke off the tires. All right, the actual rear that's in it now, I took out of the blue car because when I had the rear and the blue car in the beginning, it was had really big tires on it. So it's like a 38 inch rear. So I had to get the rear out of the blue car, cut all the brackets off, put new brackets in it. It's got four link in the back. But all the suspension, all the tubing is uh, hand bent. Every piece in it's made. Every piece of the steering column is made. Every bar is cut. The uh, front suspension on it is Mustang 2 geometry. I actually made the uh, lower control arms off of a set of ladder bars off of this car when I bought it. I actually cut the ladder bars apart and made the lower control arm. It's got a rack and pinion. Kind of a crazy looking suspension in the front. I mean, as of right now, I'm on a 496 cubic inch motor with an 871. One thing I want to do to it to make it cool, so I'm going to put a two inch piece of metal going right through the center of it and have like a split window. I don't know. It'll be something different. Just be a crowd pleaser and have some fun with it. I wanted to build something crazy. And that's the craziest thing I can think of. This is the first car I ever built. It's the famous blue car. You know, I've had this car. I bought this car when I was 25. I'm 62 now. It started out as a lot of different things. It's had five different motors in it, three different transmissions. Uh, Bracket raced it for years. It was a very good car. I won a lot of races with it. Um, got into the Outlaw Pro Street stuff, putting some nitrous on it, having a lot of fun pulling some wheelies. Chick Denino, for all you guys that know him, he was thrown out a Mustang 2 cross member for some race car that was going to go sevens or whatever. So he said, hey, there's a cross member in the garbage. Go get it. You know, so I did put that in here. Basically, it's all homemade. The whole frame, chassis, and everything. I think I had $500 in it. Used our basketball pole and built some stilts on the other side and put a beam across and lifted the body up. Put it on there. Of course, as time went by, the car's pretty much changed and it ended up with a pump gas 496 motor in it. Both of my sons have driven the car, Jake and Mac, and we went through a process where I taught them what to do at the track, how to do the burnout and the stage and all that, and we worked on that and then they entered a race. And the cool thing is, is both races they each entered, Jake was in the final and lost, and Mac was in a race where there was a few less people racing, but he actually won the race. So. Both the guys were finals or winning it, you know, their first time race ever been. And when I started racing, it took me two months to win some money and, and place. So it'd be hard to get rid of this thing now. It just got a lot of sentimental value. I, I've had it for almost going on close to 40 years. So the first time we raced, it was actually a lot faster than it is right now. It was running a six flat and an eight. And I probably had no business driving the car as, as fast as it was. We put some tests and tunes, and I think it was actually the second or third race I went to and got into the final. It was in one, all in one season. But it was against a guy, he had a Mustang. He was number one in the points, number one. And he wanted to split the money in the final because we were probably the best car there besides him. And I told him, no way, we're not gonna split with an I of red lighting. But I think we won $200. I think I ran a 601 at 115 which is probably way too fast for somebody with no driving experience, but the car was set up so well and it ran straight every time. It was pretty easy, we didn't have any problem. It was way too fast, but it was a lot of fun. I had the opportunity to actually get into racing with a little bit of a slower pace than him. Uh, when I raced this car, it was in the probably low sevens, something about that. That's pretty, it's not, it's not slow if you've never driven anything, but it's definitely slow after you've driven it a few times. But now, cars in the mid sixes, and you can definitely tell a difference. And before, I got an adrenaline rush, not quite as much because I got really used to it really fast. But even now, when I drive this in the mid sixes, I'm not used to it. And it's fun. That's what the blue car is here for. The car was built to have fun with. So, if something happens, it happens. It's a safe car to be in. It's just for fun. So, you know, I'll go out and do a burnout and blow it up. If it blows up, it's going to blow up. So, fix it back. That's. This is a 59 Corvette body that my friend Dana got a deal on. This was the deal that brought Mac the, the Nova to Mac. So 
I was going to build a chassis for Dana. He gave me the Nova. So the chassis is a, a two by four, eighth of an inch wall. It's got Mustang two front suspension. Uh, got the steering all mocked up. I got all the suspension done. You know, of course, it's got the rack and pinion, you know, Mustang two. We did the old thing where we got the 8.8 .8 rear, the 8.8 .8 Explorer rear, because one side is shorter. So I shortened the other side. I've done that many times now. I got my method down. So we made a 8.8 with a 373 gear in it and put some nice coilover shocks on the back and um, some uneven uh, uneven four link in it. So uh, the rear that's in here now was in the blue car. It's a 373 8.8 .8 Ford rear. I redrilled the ax axles to make them uh, Seven bolt pattern. But uh, that's what's in here now. We spruced it up a little with a rear end cover and uh, it's got some nice shocks and all that. Of course, in building this car, it's a lot more work than uh, you always think it's going to be. And I think there's about 150 parts that are cut and welded on this thing. It should actually ride pretty good. It should handle pretty well. So we got the body mounted. He's going to pick it up in a couple days and that's that.